Hi Capricorn, so I already shuffled for you and I got Cupid here. Um, Cupid is my card for uh, Pisces, so you could be connecting with Pisces, but it's also a card for me for love here. So I feel like um, you're in love or you're going to be lo in love if you're single here. Um, I asked why this card was here and it gave me the magician here. So I feel like... Um, Either this is or the, either this is you or this is someone else here. I feel like someone here is doing love magic or love spells on you here. Um, <laughs> the top of the deck says the last laugh. So yeah, I feel like that's what someone is doing. Um, um, that they're, they're trying to get you by, I guess, spells, witchcraft or something like that. Okay, I'm also getting if this is what they're. This could even be voodoo. Um, um, if this is what they're doing, I'm getting it actually works, okay? It's very powerful. If this is what you're doing, I'm getting it's very powerful, okay, Capricorn? Um, I feel like you get your victory, you get your win, or you get exactly what you want out of the situation here. You, you may want an Aries or a Pisces here. I feel like, I feel like your spell makes someone stuck. It makes someone, like, um, obsessed with you in a way, or... Hmm. I feel like um, Capricorn, it's a very powerful spell. Yeah. You <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting, um, you could be laughing as I'm saying this because you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Maybe, may, I feel like, yeah, the, the, the King of Wands is what came also a strong, powerful love spell. I'm, you could be doing something with like fire or candles or something like that here okay <laughs> i feel like i feel like the love spell is is like it makes it makes men find you desirable or fall in love with you or like whew. i feel like men men that wouldn't actually be confident to approach you or is even going to approach you now i feel like you're doing this spell because you want a you want a companion you want a love partner here for those of you that are single now if you're in a if you are doing this on someone here i feel like it makes them literally stuck and bound to you like they 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 can't get enough of you So Cupid, but also Cupid could bring you, Cupid could be matching you up with an Aries here. Okay, so like the powers that be, the cosmos, okay. Or this is, this is actually a Pisces, okay, trying to hook you up with an Aries here. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting like your, I was also getting that too. I feel like, I feel like, um. Cupid or the heavens, they want you to hurry up and heal yourself, okay? Because they're trying, they're trying to give you someone that is like a divine partner. I feel like you, your, your goals for a partner is someone that is very uh, goal oriented, action based. Um, someone that is coming to you healed and not broken. Someone extremely emotionally supportive, financially supportive, like support in all levels here. You want someone that's balanced. And I feel like if you are an unhealed Capricorn, you I feel like life is trying to like literally put you in a position so you could just hurry up and heal so they can give you this type of person here. I'm just getting like a divine relationship that's happening here. I feel like you're about to meet your soulmate. I just heard I just heard meet your match. I feel like your soulmate is a fire sign, a Sagittarius or an Aries here. This is a beautiful relationship. Whether it's someone that's bringing you this person in the physical realm or in the spiritual realm, I feel like you're meant to be with this fire sign here. The last laugh here is like it's like your victory. It's your win, it's your gain here. You could be meeting someone at work. Yeah, this person is going to be very protective over you. If Oh, you you've been hiding? You've been hiding for a while now. 
it's time to come out of the it's, it's time to come out of hiding with the with the hermit card here you're healed already maybe you're doing maybe you're doing something with magic to heal yourself or i don't know you're manifesting something and it's going to be given to you in divine timing i feel like the divine timing is now can i get a meter card do it three months so i feel like you've been hiding for like the last maybe three months or you've been hiding for the last two years it's time to take action and come to peace with something here I feel like I feel like someone speaks like charmingly. I feel like the person that you're going to meet is like they're funny, they're charming. They got a lot of jokes here. But there's still something to them that's like a little mysterious. I feel like this re this person reflects every like you guys mirror each other in a way. So, so go after them here or let them catch you. Anything else to say? I feel like, I, yeah, you could be meeting this person, person at some type of gathering or some type of social event or something like that. Now, I do feel like someone here went through a, a, a breakup here. Or is going to go through a breakup or separation where you spend a lot of time by yourself. Like, just like healing and... Searching for self-love or like, sorry, not searching, but working on self-love here because your heart is broken or something like that. Okay, I feel like I feel like in three months you should be healed. Okay, then you're going to be meeting this fire sign here. So the card that came out from the love card says not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, calls, person, boundaries, still angry here. So yeah, I feel like you're still healing. You're still hurt. You could. I feel like there are a lot of people that are trying to uh, get to know you or take you on a date, or uh, they're trying to express like, you know, I like you. You know what I mean? I, but I feel like you keep avoiding conversations or text messages or calls here because you're still heartbroken here. You need to hurry up and heal. Okay, I feel like it's only supposed to take three months, or it's only going to take three months here. I feel like I feel like in the pursuit of healing you you become very introspective about yourself what happened where did you go wrong what was your part of the play in it and then boom you're over it yeah self indulgence focus on self self worth time to heal shadow work self appreciation that's what I'm talking about 3 months then you get your victory I'm I'm getting like the five, the last laugh is giving me 5 of swords energy <sighs> I feel like someone experiences karma or something like that. Maybe that's what the last laugh is. Maybe that's what you wanted to hear. Do they get karma? Are they going to get it back done to them? Yes. Everybody's not. Everybody gets karma. Nobody's exempt from karma. Now, theirs may take uh, two years or more, but that's what I got. <laughs>